I'm now going to show you how to create a shellarando and retardando passages within a MIDI project. This feature currently only works with MIDI objects. This can be achieved by using either BPM markers or by direct editing of the tempo track. To turn on the tempo track, go to the menu item Automation Tempo. It can also be enabled from the Automation Effect menu. Left click and select Tempo from the list. I'm using a 16 bar MIDI project for this example, which has a tempo of 140 BPM. As I'm working with tempo changes, I first need to check some settings in the Tempo Map dialog. Open it from the menu item, Edit, Tempo, Tempo Map Dialog. I've assigned a hotkey, Control plus forward slash, to open it. Where it says Retain Musical Position after Tempo Changes, make sure the four boxes below are ticked. This ensures that relative bar and beat positions are maintained during tempo changes. While this dialog is open, I'm also clicking on the BPM Mode button. This will enable the red BPM markers. Click OK to exit. You can also turn on BPM Mode from the menu item Edit, Tempo, Tempo Map, BPM Mode. Make sure Snap is enabled and set to Full Bar. I will begin by using the Tempo Marker method. Position the play cursor at bar 1 and insert a tempo change marker using either your hotkey or from the menu item Edit, Tempo, Insert Tempo Change. The Tempo and Signature window will open automatically. Set the BPM to 90 and click OK. I'm now positioning the play cursor at bar 5 and inserting a BPM marker again. I'm entering the new value of 140 BPM. When I close the dialog box, you will notice that the marker displays the new tempo. You can see from the tempo track that there is an immediate jump from 90 to 140 at bar 5. But I need a gradual tempo transition, or accelerando. So double click on the marker to open the Tempo and Signature window again. But this time, also tick the Interpolate Tempo to Proceeding Marker checkbox. Click OK to exit the dialog. An angle bracket pointing to the right has been added to indicate that interpolation is enabled for that marker. The tempo curve has also been adapted to reflect this gradual tempo change. The MIDI objects are automatically time stretched or compressed, so MIDI notes stay in sync with any tempo changes. The next four bars will continue at the same tempo of 140, so I'm inserting another marker at bar 9 and leaving interpolation unticked. I'm now going to show you how to achieve the same result by editing the tempo curve. For this I'm switching to object and curve mouse mode. Placing the mouse cursor over the tempo curve at bar 13 changes it into a finger. A normal left click will add a tempo node which can be dragged up or down to create a 90 degree tempo ramp. However, if you left click while holding down the shift modifier, a tempo node will be added with interpolation enabled. Alternatively, you can add an interpolation enabled node by double clicking on the tempo curve. Take note that you can also right click on a tempo node to open the tempo and signature window. Now, drag up or down to speed up or slow down the tempo. Using the shift modifier gives you fine adjustment to within 1 BPM. It will also help restrict horizontal movement. A small window will display the tempo as you adjust it. As I drag the tempo node up or down, the grid between the previous node and the selected node will expand or contract. 
If you're having problems making precise adjustments, just right click on the node to open the tempo and signature window and enter the value manually. Control left clicking on a tempo curve creates a different kind of tempo node. Control dragging vertically splits the single node into two separate nodes. The active node creates an interpolation link with the node to the left. Drag vertically to increase or decrease the amount of interpolation. Left click on the secondary node to adjust the tempo to the right side of the vertical axis. The marker for this kind of node is distinguished by the left and right angle bracket symbols. Left click to insert a new node between two points of an interpolated curve. This new node will automatically have interpolation enabled. Adjusting vertically will scale the left and right angles accordingly. Using the Alt modifier will bypass snapping, thus allowing you to add or move tempo nodes on the horizontal axis. When snap is set to full bar, notes will always snap to the nearest bar. Change the snap value to beats to insert tempo nodes based on the beat position. For finer snap settings, choose Snap to Quantization, then select the quantize value from the Q drop down menu. Remember you can always use the Alt modifier to temporarily disable snapping. You can also add tempo nodes when using universal mouse mode. Double click to add them. To delete a node, left click to select, then press the delete key. To delete a marker, left click on the marker and press delete. Or right click in the upper half of the grid and marker bar and select Delete Marker. To delete a series of markers, draw in a range and then right click and choose Delete Markers in Range. The markers within that range will be deleted. <laughs> 